Final thing to consider is uh, is your gravitas. And they're the images that are associated with an email address. And you, as you can see, the uh, images associated with this email address is that one, and that email address is this one. Now, how you control that is through gravatar.com. And I suggest if you're, if you're one of the people publishing posts on the website, you must have this installed. Okay, so what you do is you go to gravatar.com and you, and you register uh, your email address. You'll get an email in your inbox and it will, um, you'll get an email in your inbox and it will send a notification, you approve that and then that verifies the email address and then you can log in and change an image. So how, how you do that is uh, you would put in uh, hello, okay, you put in an email address that you own, you'll get a, a notification in your email, click on that, I then verify the email address and then I'm logged in and now I can put an image with that. So I select that and then I select the image I want to go with that. I confirm it and there I have. Now each image will tell you whether it's a G-rated image or, or, or what. So they all, all should be G-rated images. So now I've got an email associated with that and if I added that as a user, that image would appear next to that. It's as simple as that. So make sure you read about gravitas.com uh, gravatar.com uh, carefully uh, so and and learn about how you can actually do an image. It'll only take you five minutes to do and then you can you can change that image it will change it across the whole web instantaneously once you've done that.